Hey guys, and welcome back to another CR Gaming's Let's Play Minecraft series. You remember last time we left off, you know, exploring our world, off in search of a village. And so, without further ado, we'll just uh, get right back to the rest of the adventure that I kind of left off with last week. I think I'm going to explore this savanna a little bit. There's a ship right there. kind of want to explore the ship, but I also kind of want to keep going. No? Too much about oh, ships and things. Same time, be really nice to get some like diamonds. Considering my whole little cave does not seem to have any. Ah, there's a village. Perfect. A little desert village. Let's see what's in it. So this is my first 1.15.2 village that I've explored, or that I'm going to be exploring. Looks big, relatively big. It's got a golem. It's got some nice lamps. Oh, oh no! Don't run into the cactus. Here, let me help you out. Oh, you don't have anything, do you? These are all just villagers. Is there anything good in here? Seems to be just a little house. Nothing in it? Another little house. A crafting table. Some hay. Lots of hay, frankly. Just another house. So this village might be kind of a dud, looks like. It's nice that it's got a horse stable. Nothing in it. Let's see what this is. Just a hill. And this. Same thing, just a double house. Alright. So this village is, uh, yeah, it's kind of a dud. It's just a bunch of houses, which, um, I mean, if you want villagers, you can definitely get a good you know, supply of them here. Not a very big farm either. Quite a bit of wheat. Oh, I do you think I'll take some of this wheat? They're not gonna use it. I could use it to start my farm. My animal farms, I mean. And start breeding some horses. Now that I've got a saddle, I can definitely go a lot further, a lot faster. And, uh, yeah. I'm not disappointed in that village, honestly. I'll have to remember it. Come back to it, maybe, at some point. But for now... Oh, I do have a saddle. So there are some horses. <laughs> Let's go and commandeer one of these horses. Particularly enjoying all of the skeleton archers and literally nothing else. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One spider, two creepers, ten skeleton archers just in this little area. I'm gonna steal your bed. Is that another village? It is. And it's, I think, my favorite kind, the Savannah kind. I don't know. I, I like them all to a good extent. But I do think they, uh, they look quite fun and interesting compared to a lot of them. Really, they're all quite good. I think. I do think that the most effort is gone into this. Here. 
Oh, and they have kitties. Where are the kitties? You're an idiot, aren't you? Um, the witch in me. You know, the village. The village idiot. Uh, I believe always wears the green one. Um, these are just regular ones, then. Oh, you should have a map maker somewhere. I don't like your show me it. Uh, you are the cartographer. Just taking all your food. Just, just a little house, no chests. This is a pretty good sized little village, I think. Little cab there. It's got quite a few buildings. Start exploring them all. Brewer stamp. No! <laughs> oh no! Can't carry it. Got too many things. The question is do I want to take that cartographer's table? I think I do, because I think I want to start my own little village, but if I do that, then I'm kind of a jerk. That makes sense. Or, I can build off this village, and try to make a new one. Cat stuck inside. Uh, looks like it's like another cartographer and cartography table. So two of them and a little compass. I had a brewer's stand that I've now already uh, kind of removed. But, you know, I can always put that back and uh, repurpose this village. Or yeah. I can just take all this stuff home with me. Three cards. Yeah. What the heck? Your farms are all yeah. just screwy wampus. Oh, there's one more house I haven't explored. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're a bit of a pickle, aren't you? Yeah. There you go. There you go, buddy. All better now, right? It's a smoker. So we've got a smoker, brewing stand. And three cartography tables. I'm definitely gonna take one of these cartography tables. Just because they don't need it. And I've got like four cartographers over here. And uh, yeah, I kinda, kinda need one. Oh, they've also got two bells. I think I'll take one of the bells, one of the cartography tables, and your saddle on, because I am out of it space, and if I want to do half the things I'm talking about, because I think that's good enough for one day, don't you? Bull apple, a bell, brewing stand, cartography table, bunch of maps, gold, iron, gunpowder, some TNT, cacti, some new trees, well, a new tree, and some various other random items like a compass. So much easier once you have a horse to get away from all these enemies, you know? Literally just run right by them. Oh crap. There we go. Oh no. They are not my friends. This is where zombies get really annoying. They just like swarm like crazy. 
You know? Oh, look at that little baby zombie. There we go. Like all free. Oh. Oh, hello. Hey, where'd he go? It was right there. Oh. Oh, crap. Oh, yep. Hey, angry. Ow. Ow. I think this is where I spawned in. Yep. Because I remember that floating little uh, patch of dirt. So that's kind of neat. Neat little throwback. We're just going to go right over this hill and then we're home. So after all that, we got a bunch of cacti, some rotten flesh, gunpowder, melons, so a new source of food. Uh, pumpkins, so another new source of food. Some TNT, bell, in case they want to start a village. Cartography table for that village. Compass, some iron, some gold, golden apple, some emeralds, uh, and just then various other random things. Oh, and a brewing stand and brown mushrooms, so more sources of food. And hopefully we can turn at least one of these eggs into a chicken. Wish you could summon villagers doing that. There's some mushrooms planted. And we're gonna plant this acacia sapling right here and start our little acacia tree. We do need to get a pen for some chickens. And it helps to do this and have just the one block there. Because chickens tend to try to escape. Ah, I got at least one. That's really good luck. Two! Two chickens. Right. I'm really happy with how that turned out, actually. I should cover all of the pumpkins. Alright, everybody, let's recap what we did today, because I feel like we made a lot of good progress, although not all of it's very visible. We have expanded our sugarcane production. We've continued our potato production, although it's not going very quickly right now. We found some pumpkins, and we've made some pumpkin seeds to start growing those. And we also found some melon seeds to start growing some watermelons. I've gotten blown up by a creeper <laughs> again. We found a couple of horses, three horses, there they are. We made some bee friends. We found some eggs and started a little chicken farm here. This may seem like animal cruelty to some people, but I promise they're very happy. We found two villages, a desert temple. In regards to the Savannah village, let me know what you'd like me to do. If you'd like me to kind of move house there, I think it makes kind of a nice little spot too. And of course, we'll keep our original house here at zero zero or a little uh, beach cottage, but I do think it would be neat to kind of explore expanding that village and maybe getting some more villagers in there and, and different professions. So let me know what you think, and otherwise, that's it.